So, hi everyone, my name is Nunt. And now we need to define the roof joists. We are going to do it this way. Go to bar selection, go to geometry, Z axis 28 to 28. Press this button. Robot is going to select all the elements in this upper plane. Okay. And we are going to make an intersection of these elements that we defined with the attribute 14 key 1. Press this. Robot is only going to pick the upper plane or roof plane joists. Select this, control copy, member list, control paste. Very good. Now let's select the section. Press the section button, select this, and select the K family. And it, actually, we didn't select any section. We've got the sections available that we've got here. And we are going to select everything. If you press this button, it will select everything. Robot is going to select everything, OK? So I'm pressing OK. I'm pressing Save OK. I'm going to do this for the floor joists. OK. Uh, the different case is that the member list is different. The member list is different. I'm going to geometry to be 14 to 14. Give it a go with the attribute of this. OK. Control copy this to this over here. Press OK. Press save. Press OK. Very good. Now, now we need to create a new group for the floor joists. Now we need to create a new group for the floor joists. OK, I'm going to press new. It will give me a new group based on the group that I have defined previously. OK, very good. Also, the sections are the one defined previously. Floor joists. Yes. OK, press the S over there. Go to geometry. 14, 14. The attribute is going to be this. Sorry, 14, 14, press this button. The attribute will be something like this. OK, very good. I'm going to close and copy this to this point. I'm going to hit Save. OK. Now, we'll need to make the same for the other elements. Let's do it for the, for the roof girders, which will be our third which will be our third group. OK, I'm going to press and change the member list. We are working on the roof. Control A and roof girders. The material will be the material that we had previously. A992.50 A9 over here. OK, press Save. Sections. I want a W section. Let me see where W is. It's over here. OK. And now we are going to try the W12 through W18. OK. I'm going to select the first W12. This is the selection that you have. By now, we don't have anything selected. OK, these are the sections that are available and I'm going to choose them. Just click on them. OK, so I'm going to click shift select. OK, from the first W12 through W18 by 55. OK. Over here, press shift and there you go. Press OK. Hit save. OK. Now I'm going to make a group for the floor girders, a new group. Floor girders. OK. Now, OK, it has changed. Very good. Geometry will be something like 14 to 14. Press this button. The attribute will be, it will be this girder. Close, OK. Control, copy, paste this. Floor girl section, I want oh, to delect, delete all of the sections. I'm also selecting a W section, but this time I want all the W 
cross sections, okay? I'm going just to press here and we'll select everything, okay? Save, okay. Now I'm going to make a group for the tie beams with all the double sections once again. Tie beams. I'm going to change the selection over here this time. I'm going to make a group for all the tie beams. All the tie beams will have the same cross section. I have I I I haven't talked about that. Each group will give you robot is going to give you one cross section for each group. If you have a structure that has thousands <laughs> thousands of uh, columns and you define one group for those thousand columns robot will give you and will make every column cross section equal and that column will respect the most stressed column okay so you should be aware of that when making groups you you to you, you may need to refine and make more groups to have uh, a a more reasonable solution okay so now I'm selecting the tie beams press this button press close I'm going to copy this so I let's copy all the W sections okay already defined save okay and now I want a group for the columns and for the braces Okay, let me choose all the braces over depending on the attribute. This attribute over here, all the braces, control copy. Well, all and this is going to be braces. Sorry, I want to define first of all columns. Sorry about that. Columns, I want this property selected over here paste column and also here we are going to change the material we want a hey 546 still over here okay save okay uh, the cross section we need to redefine the cross sections we don't want double cross sections for the column I'm going to press it, delete all I'm going to American institution of American Institution of Steel Construction. I'm going to select the HSSQ section, all the all the cross sections in this database. Okay, press this button. Okay, save. Okay, and now finally, let's define the braces. Let's call these braces. The group has changed. You first should uh, work on the member list. Otherwise, this will pop up every time. Okay. So now let's select the braces. I could just go to the graphical, to the graphical view. Right mouse click. Select similar cross section. There we go. Copy this. Braces the same carbon and the same cross section. Okay. This is based on the previously defined cross sections. Okay. I'm going to press save. Okay. Oh, um, thank you for watching. Please give this video a like. Thank you for watching.